Hello YouTube, it's BK Dump back again, playing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla, The Siege of Paris. When last we played, I made my way to Evro, met the little mother. I'm looking for the Charles the Fat Queen, his wife, his queen, and little mother may know where she is. I've made my way to Aquila, where I have to kill her. I acquired a key, and I'm about to go talk to this little, this little skips. Hey, well, wait. You son of a bitch. I see. Uh, Alright. Gotta deal with this guy first. He just had to come wandering in. Alright, anyways. Go talk to this little scamp and see what he knows. What you want, you scamp? Hey there. Who told you that song? I made it up myself. It's about the delivery aunts they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery at this deer, too. The creep? <coughs> you mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt guards. Be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a deliverance, and you'll end up like the deer. That sounds exciting. All right. We avoid those people. Kind of funny how a single arrow can break all oh, that wood. Alright. Alright, let's head to the crypt. Aquila is no place for your tribe. Shut up, you silly Frenchman. Or I shall taunt you a second time. Right. Let's see. Leave me alone, Snake. sword. Achilles tendon. Alright. Where's this crypt this way? What's this? I'll collect that. There's a 
another key. That was a script there. everything always in the sewers. Oh, what's this? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's not like I want to go down the ladder or anything. Thank you. to bet that whatever is back here Toads. Not right. Oh, you startled me. I did that. One of the new assistants. Good. That is good. Yes, I've been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I, I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? <coughs> okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. All right. We gotta participate in the deliverance. The knife is well made, but the edge is dull. It will not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. Devil is watching. Take the dagger, dip his blade into the blood of the sacrifice. No blood must go to the hilt. Once the blade is dipped, do not touch it. It is holy. Enter the inner chamber, I can dagger with the hilt. I uh, beckon present the dagger to me with the hilt forward. Keep your eyes lowered, do not speak, do not look at my chart. Once the dagger is passed, leave quickly and without sound. Do this, and no harm will befall you. 
Okay. So, must find the blood. Must be over there. Okay. Deliverance seems to come at a high price. The torture. the double from her. If you are interrupted before the task is accomplished, she must die at your hand. We cannot let her live. Do not be concerned by the severity of your task. Easy door. That person doesn't look very healthy. I'm coming. Just taking my good old sweet time. Instrument. Is your knife God's instrument too? I can tell you the devil's fear it. How they scream at its touch. Is that the devil's fear I see in your eyes now? You mistake faith and fear. You are lost, Euphrasia. We have the queen of the this way.
That was a terrible assassination attempt. Felt like I was missing some those guards recognized me too easily. Thou hast put thy trust Didn't even get a chance to do the assassination attempt. I am sorry she had to die. She was not always like this. I'm too young for such bitterness. Your message are uncompromising. But your coming was God's doing. Uh, you was are another man, your husband. aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. Oh, rat swarms. Rats. The plague brought them. The for now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your guard who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. 
Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. Okay. Well, let's go together. Come on, horror. Kitty. Alright, let's go. Show me the way. I mean to bargain with your husband, the king. But he's a complicated man. You're being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed. They put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere. Though he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he know? Oh, yeah, he's fat. It is not him. Well, it's not that. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. Yes, the I know. little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. If Rezia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy, she thought me possessed. The Bishop Anglewin was part of this group, I think. You know, yeah, everyone's they... possessed. Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei, God's warriors. And there are more of them. Oh, there's the call. this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Oh, a son. Kind of derpy looking. Little bear. We saw this. You're safe. God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. Sloppy kid. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man, and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. Of course. On that came Bernard. You're and hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard needs to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. Change pretty quickly. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled.
Oh, alright. I need to actually go someplace else. Yeah, we came well separate mounts and yet you ride with me, goofy woman. Alright. Oh that person just fell. Go birdies, go. All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me get some of these berries and some food. Alright. Where am I going? We are here. Charles Kemp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She's unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You're still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where oh. is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew to eat, you and, and I to were eat, meant to be. Eat. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard, Gishardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. Ooh. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. Yep, Charles is the best. I'll take care of the guys. Stay hidden. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just shot a horse in the head. And it didn't do anything. What? Look at all this. I won't even get down from your horse. to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help nope. and become your ally. Nope. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband, but you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God yeah. exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. Seen in this area. That was not the assassination move. Yeah, time to eat. 
go eat. Jeez, it's time already. All right, how do I get in here? There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go a little faster. We have arrived. I will take three Paris mansions. <laughs> we know you are crazy, but why three? One for me, one for my horse, and one for my axe. We are late for the feast. Oh. oh, what is that? Oh. Yeah, 
I already know about that. Banjo Toka. Long ships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves searching for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happened, Eivor? <coughs> you have fought before, bled, killed. Yes, but there are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. Then don't kill the children. There need not be a slaughter. <coughs> may still persuade the Franks to yield. I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Otto leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. <laughs> the High One says, it is better to live than to die. Let the dead till no fields. Quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost Thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. Everywhere is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. But will he bend the knee? All right, so we shall leave it at that. When we come back, we shall go talk to Count Odo, if we can find him. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.